So Patricia, uh, you know that we are working with a project, mm -hmm. We Umbra. Do you know the meaning of Umbra? We? Yeah. Yes. That's the meaning of Umbra in Bengali language. Mm -hmm. So, and your son is involved with the project and he is learning the Bengali song, uh -huh. right? And the dance. Yes. So what's your experience about the whole thing? Oh, the experience was just wonderful. At the beginning, we didn't know what to expect. Right. Um, we didn't know if he would be able to learn it well. But it was just a nice experience to hear a different language, to know what it means, right. to have a new dance moves that he had not learned before, mm -hmm. and just the meaning behind the song after it was explained to him what mm -hmm. it meant. It was a very, very useful experience for him, a learning experience for him. Right. And I think mostly working with children from another culture that he hadn't worked with before also was a good experience, good experience. for him. Yeah. Do yeah. you think he will be interested to do it again? Oh yes, yes. He's uh, looking forward to uh, the next part of it uh -huh. and he was especially impressed by the older children right. because they did uh, very complicated dances according to, to us actually they were uh -huh. very intricate and he, he wants to advance and learn those moves too. Right. Yes. Nimalo, would you like to ask something? Yeah, the, no, it's really it's nice uh, working experience. This is the first time mm -hmm. I'm working with in different ethnic group. Mm -hmm. So this is this is really ex uh, nice experience, a new experience. Mm -hmm. And um, how do you relate with this kind of journey with in your community? How how would you like? Uh, this is this is our this was our first project, mm -hmm. and this is not only the learning our language. Uh -huh. It's like journey towards like world mm -hmm. uh, in the towards uh, in different ethnic group actually. So this is the journey about know your own mother tongue. Mm -hmm. Actually, I must say I was very impressed. By the way, the Indian community here seemed so united and came together to do this program. I think all the teachers who are volunteer teachers, the mm -hmm. students who dance volunteered their time to learn. It was very impressive to see that kind of unity, but also to see that uh, Nita here wrote the book and you did the music and in that you educated the larger Kansas City community, right. Right. different people from different parts of the world. And uh, for us, it was an eye-opener, actually. I had some of my Kenyan friends come over for it, right. and they said, why can't we do something like exactly. this? Yeah, sure. This yeah, is that, that wonderful. Is actually our, uh, yeah. the they, yes, exactly. they were, why haven't we ever thought of doing something like that? We have a lot of culture, too, right. and it's a way of teaching our children the language. And also, as your message, as your book says, Without each other, we are nothing. We can't just be here right. alone. It's alone. meaningful sure. that we right. share and, and also and without learning. not knowing your mother tongue, wherever you live, doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. People are moving everywhere, living everywhere. Yes. But if you don't know your mother tongue, you don't know yourself. Yes. So, and it, you have to know your tradition, culture, mm -hmm. because that's the that gives you the diversity. If every ethnic ethnicity group mm -hmm. maintain their own culture, yes. which is important. Even if you learn everything, mm -hmm. still it is important to maintain the diversity yes. because of the unity, right? And that's another important lesson because uh, as I was uh, saying before, we, we are not good, our children right. are losing that because being in America, we also lose that ability to teach our right. children our culture, our language. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's something important for us to do. You, do you do you celebrate this kind of like in, in your community, do you do this kind of show or this? Any your community show do you or like this, do that? like cultural and cultural events do you or do, you do that here in the United States we do not do it in the Kenyan community here I haven't seen that but in Kenya you do in high school there is uh, there's what we call national culture festivals mm -hmm. where right. children from different schools to put out dances and poems. Mm -hmm. and songs in their right. own language and their culture and they have a national competition throughout the whole country okay. and it's yes. another nice. way of trying to teach each other and unify the Share country and everything. despite the differences. So one thing I would say that if you are interested mm -hmm. in the book, the chapter 5 is an open chapter. Uh -huh. I used Bengali language because this is my mother tongue. Uh -huh. So the message, what he says, it's to besides you learn any other language mm -hmm. and it is good to learn all languages. Yes. 
you should learn your own mother tongue. Mm -hmm. So it, I'm looking for people who can work with me. Uh -huh. So this is a Bengali you know, chapter uh -huh. written in Bengali. Mm -hmm. If you have anyone who knows your language, yes. Kiswahili. Kiswahili. If anybody wants to work with me, uh -huh. you can put out that chapter in your language and maybe next year put out a show in your language. Oh. That is the way I want to do that. Uh, the, fifth chapter for everyone. Oh, that if is... anybody is Chinese, if any Chinese writer wants to work with me, we'll do it together. Okay. Even a kid can take, take up as a project, summer project. Oh. Do your alphabet, do your stuff, mm -hmm. and make your own chapter in Chinese if you're Chinese. Oh. So this is the message of the four, fifth chapter. Okay, that is a wonderful so opportunity. So he did all the songs, yeah. like, you know, alphabet songs, counting numbers, mm -hmm. all these things in Bengali. Uh -huh. Because we wanted to teach our ch children. Yes. So if you, instead of that, you put we your key language, and chapter five you know, and like how to count, uh -huh. how to know the, know the shapes, like basic thing, know the continents. So mm -hmm. There are a lot of songs there. Okay. Yeah. That's something that I can And the put idea is not to community. know everything, it's not possible. Mm -hmm. But especially the kids who are you know away from their own country and culture, yes. at least they should be able to communicate, mm -hmm. you know, some way with their family, friends. Mm -hmm. They should be able to do some see if I ask someone sing a song okay. in your language, they'll be able to sing a song or do a poems, mm -hmm. do basic numbers, those kind of things. Oh. Minimum, but still yeah. it's very important. Yeah, very, very nice. It's nice that that opportunity And then if exists. they can learn more, mm -hmm. it's a literature. Every country has literature, oh, history. Yes. Yes. So they will be able to you know, explore more if they learn the language. Well. Uh -huh. Yeah, so that's a good that's opportunity. About. So Actually, the globalization is making the world smaller. Mm -hmm. Right. So, yes. so basically, <laughs> the Kenya is not so far from here. Yes. Not to, and also the India is the same. Mm -hmm. I think so. That's why if we forget everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will be good. It's good to always yeah, remember exactly. your cultures and your traditions. And you, you will see that in, uh, when I compose music, I, I listen a big, uh, Kenyan music, African music, mm -hmm. Chinese music, Japanese music, Different Indonesian language. music, mm -hmm. like European music. Yes. Uh, there are some connections. Uh-huh, there's some similarities, similarities. in the beats and in the... Because yeah. of the, the uh, DNA and the expression is the same, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. The human DNA, I don't know exactly. She, <laughs> <laughs> she much better she than me. She believes in DNA. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, what I think, the, there there are some similarities and there are some meeting point mm -hmm. where you can explore something. Explore. Oh, okay. And, and explore and unite, actually. Yes, yeah. unite. Yes. It was... It, that shows me the, the the program and just the whole journey. Yeah. Just and that's the way the name we is. we means we mm -hmm. all of us all of us. Yes. yes. So you, you see uh, what what do you say we in your language Kenyan language? Sisi. Sisi. Uh huh. Okay. Sisi. We. That okay. is in Kiswahili. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And right. yeah, indeed, the world we need each other. Yes. We we cannot be an island in this world anymore. So. Right. It's important message, and the, it's good for the children to right. learn that. And, and, and this book is written; the, all the poems, lyrics are in Bengali, mm -hmm. but it has all translation, translation like conceptual translation, phonetic mm -hmm. expression. So anybody can read this book or listen to the music, learn the music. Mm -hmm. So and then share each other. Yeah, the music yeah. we are used to now, we are just singing his song. And, oh, his song, and, right? Yeah, the, the song, but uh, you know, because right. you listen to it over yeah, and over. It's kind of either. And then Gabriel says, Mom, you're not singing it right. It's this way, it's this way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. but the music, all the songs were really nice. Very nice. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. So much. Thank it you was so much. nice having you guys.